captain's log supplemental. We are no closer to finding a solution to the deteriorating orbit of the Braille 4 moon. But with the arrival of Q, we now have a good idea of the cause. Our options? We've done everything by the book and a little extra. We need more time or power, and we're short on both. I'll take a look and see if there are any rules I haven't broken. Keep me informed. We know you're behind this, Q. These aren't my colors. And what are you blathering about, Riker? What kind of twisted pleasure does it give you to bring terror into their lives? Whose lives? The millions of people down there who are watching as their moon falls out of the sky. Oh, I haven't the vaguest idea what you're talking about, and I have a much more serious problem. I'm no longer a member of the Continuum. My superiors have decided to punish me. And punish us as well, it would seem. They say I've spread chaos through the universe, and they've stripped me of all my powers. You don't believe me, do you? Do you think I would humiliate myself like this? If it served your purpose, yes. It's the truth. I stand before you defrocked, condemned to be a member of this lowest of species, a normal, imperfect, lumpen human being. They made you human as part of your punishment. No, it was my request. I could have chosen to exist as a Markofian sea lizard or a Belzoidian flea. Anything I wished, as long as it was mortal. And since I had only a fraction of a second to mull, I chose this and asked them to bring me here. Why? Because in all the universe, you're the closest thing I have to a friend, Jean-Luc. Sir, he is reading as fully human. What, is there an echo in here? I am sensing an emotional presence, Captain. I would normally describe it as being terrified. How rude. What is it you want, Q? Your compassion. All right. Sanctuary on this ship. Dreary as it may sound to the both of us. Return that moon to its orbit. I have no powers! Cue the ordinary! Cue the liar! Cue the misanthrope! Cue the miserable! Cue the desperate! What must I do to convince you people? Die. Oh, very clever, Worf. Eat any good books lately? Fine. You want to be treated as human? Absolutely. All right. Mr. Worf, throw him in the brig. Delighted, Captain. You can't do this to me, Jean-Luc. You will walk or I will carry you. Given the option, I'll, I'll walk. You've disappointed me, Jean-Luc. I'm very disappointed. Hey, I'm claustrophobic. I don't like it in here. It was a mistake. I never should have hit human. I knew it the moment I said it. I think of a future in this shell. Forced to cover myself with a fabric because of some outdated human morality. To say nothing of being too hot or too cold. Growing feeble with age. Losing my hair. Catching a disease. Being ticklish. Sneezing. Having an itch. A pimple. Bad breath. Having to bathe. Too bad. Klingon. I should have said Klingon. In my heart of hearts, I am a Klingon, Worf. Sorry. So you understand, I could never survive in confinement. I mean, this is cruel and unusual punishment. The universe has been my backyard. As a fellow Klingon, if you would speak to the captain on my behalf, I would be eternally grateful. Which doesn't mean as much as it used to, I admit. Be quiet! Or disappear back where you came from! I can't disappear any more than you could win a beauty contest. If I were to ask you a very simple question, do you think you might be able to answer it without it troubling your intellect too much? Ready? Here goes. Would I permit you to lock me away if I still had all my powers? You have fooled us too often, Q. Oh, perspicacity incarnate. Please don't feel compelled now to tell me the story of the boy who cried wharf. Computer, activate force field. I demand to be let out of here, do you hear me? You will deactivate this cell immediately. Romulan! I should have said Romulan, that Klingon goat.